Hello Susan and welcome to the ninth project of this course. So in this video, we are going to be just creating this simple tooltip by just using HTML and CSS. No JavaScript, no nothing. So if you hold our mouse over to it, so we would just get this tooltip text right here. And if you want to place your own text, so you can also place there. But in my case, I just write like tooltip text right here. So this is going to be the easy project of this course so without wasting any time so now let's jump right into it and now let's just create this tooltip in the previous video we've created this creative cards but in this video we are going to be creating a tooltip by just using html and css no javascript no preprocessor like sas no whatsoever just pure html and css okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create a new folder given name of 09 and then tool tip Okay. and then inside this tooltip i'm going to create two files like index.html and then another one will be style.css so let me make it a bit bigger so that we can see it a bit better okay so the first thing i'll do is i'll just create a doc type and give a name of like tooltip and then i'll link it with my css file save it and now let's launch it with live server so i'm going to right click and click on the live server the first thing i'll do i'll just provide a div with the id of container okay just a container inside this container we will have like spans two spans so the first one will be uh, id of like two tip and also tooltip content content i'll just write like two tip text and then we will have another span so i'll just write span how are me okay so this is just a html for this tooltip so the first thing we have is a div with the class of uh with the id of container and then we have an id of uh, tooltip content and then we have like how are me okay so now let's jump right into a css and the first thing i'll do i'll just remove that padding and that margin just a bit of a resets and then box sizing of board box sizing of board box save it and here is our tooltip text right here okay so now i'm going to jump right into the body and i'm gonna give them a width of like 100 percent and then i'm gonna also provide a height of 100 vh display will be center because we want everything to be center uh display will be flex and justify corner will be center line items will be also center and background color will be linear gradient so i'll just write linear gradient and the first one will be uh add bc um 6 ec and then comma 95 uh 99 e2 okay so this is the color and now let's jump right to the container so i'll just select that container which is this container right here okay and then i'm gonna give a position of relative to it and then the cursor will be pointer and inside the padding will be seven uh pixel and then font size i'm gonna make it just a bit bigger so that we can see it a bit better so 25 pixel and font weight will be bold so once we save our file and this is our tooltip right here okay and it's now saying like how are me and whenever we hover over to it and so our cursor changed to like pointer right here okay anyhow so now let's select this tooltip content right now so now i'm gonna just write like two tip and then uh content not container but just content inside there i'm gonna write a position of absolute and then outside the left 50 percent and then top will be zero and transform uh not transform origin transform just a simple transform will be translate x axis and we want them to be to go like minus 50 percent and then we have a background of totally black and then we have a color of pure white and then we have a white space of no wrap and then we have a padding top and bottom will be 10 pixel and left and right will be 15 pixel and uh, it should be no wrap okay and then, then we have a border radius of seven pixel just a little bit of um, border and then we have a visibility hidden currently it will be now hidden and we have opacity of zero so it will be totally hidden and then we also want to provide a transition to it so transition to opacity and 0 0.5 seconds ease okay so that's because we are going to be working with a before selector and we are going to be also hovering over to the content so that's why we are using this uh transition with opacity of like 0 0.5 seconds because we want the, our transition to go a bit smoother so tool tip uh, content now we are using a before 
and then we have to provide a content of nothing and then we have position of absolute and then the left side will be 50 percent and then the top will be 100 percent and then we have a transform of translate x axis and then we have a minus 50 percent okay and then we have a border of 15 pixel pixel solid so you just go with a 15 pixel solid and now let's change the border color to like um one two three now change it to one two three four and now change it to one two three four one more time and then one two three four this last time okay so nothing is going to happen because our tooltip is gone that's because of this um opacity and visibility hidden so whenever we hover over through this text so it will just use us our tooltip okay so now let's select our container and once we hover over to this container and we want to select this tool tip of content and then top will be minus 130 percent and then we have our visibility will be now uh, visible instead of hidden and then we have opacity will be one so once we save our file and now if i hover over to it so here you can see it will now gives us this tooltip right here and if you want to change the font family of that so you can also change the font family of that one as well so maybe i should just provide a font family right here sans serif you can choose whichever font you like so when i hover my mouse over to it so here you can see we've got a simple tooltip right here and by the way if you are wondering like where i get this um background color so i get that from this side which is like if i go to this gradient.com so here you will find a lot of gradient so here you can see i guess i choose like jonas guy i guess i choose this one i'm not exactly sure but you can choose whichever you like from there okay so now let's suppose if i want to just like um maybe grab this one so if i copy there and now let me change this one let me duplicate and comment this line of code and now let's change this one and now let's grab the second one from there copy it and now let's change it to this one and then finally we have this one so let's copy this code and save our file and now here you can see that background is changed so i don't like that if you like this you can choose whichever gradient you like and here's my gradient okay so that was it about today's video so if you guys don't know about git and github so you can skip the rest of the video otherwise like if you guys do know the git and github so you can watch the rest of the video because i'm going to push my code to my github repository which is this one right here so you will have access to this repository okay you will have access to all of this code which you write throughout the course and by the way this is 100 project which we are going to be doing in a later section so let me just um launch a new git bash and now we have a get status we have this tooltip get uh, add everything so now we add that get commit dash m um tool tip um added i'll just go with that and then finally get push origin main kapow so now our code is live and now let's check that and if i refresh my browser so here you will see our nine folder just in a second all right so here you can see that uh, tooltip so if i click on that so you will have access to all of this code like index.html file and then we have this style.css file right here and you can just copy all of the code or you, you can tweak it out if you want to you can do whatever you want to do with that okay so i think that was it about today's video and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye